In this video, we'll take a look at a couple ways to collaborate with users and manage your design data. So this is the dashboard that you see when you launch Fusion 360. On the left hand side, you have a list of designs that you personally have recently accessed. Um, so this is a quick way to get to designs that you've been working on. On the right hand side is the activity feed. This lists activity within any project that you have access to uh, that has been modified by any user that can access the project. So if you want to collaborate, the first thing you'll do is create a new project. Uh, projects are where you'll gather related data uh, for a specific design. When you create a project, you've got to assign it a name and then also enter a purpose or description of the project so that other users who have access to it know what this project's for. You'll also want to enter email addresses for anyone that you want to allow access to this project. So only those people will be able to access the project and the data that's contained in there. So here's my project. You can see I've invited several more members to the project. Uh, we also have some activity in the recent and the activity feed. So we've been working in here. If I want to add more members to the project, I can go to invite add the email addresses and they'll be invited and allowed access. If I have uh, CAD data that I want to upload, I can go to upload CAD data. Uh, this would let me browse for that file. It will upload the data and then translate it to a Fusion format that can be opened within Fusion. If you use the button next to it, which is the upload data button, uh, this will upload the selected files to your, your project, uh, but it will not translate those files to a Fusion format. So this upload button is used for things like Word docs, spreadsheets, uh, videos, anything you might want to upload to your project uh, that's related to the design, but it's not a CAD format that you want to translate to, to Fusion. If you want to create something brand new, you'd go to the Create button. Uh, typically, this would be a design that you'd create and start working in Fusion, but you can see there's other items you can create within the context of your project. If I want to work with data that's uh, contained in the project, uh, not necessarily editing the design, uh, click the name of that, that design. That'll load the, de the design card or the item card from your dashboard, you can see it tells you what the current or latest version of that design is. I have a 3D viewer where I can spin the model around and, and just uh, get a look at what this design contains. The next tab down is the render tab. So I have some default renders that are created automatically for each version. And then the tab below that is the versions tab. So it lists each version uh, for this particular design. I can select a version to see it in the viewer. Uh, you also can promote a version to make it the latest. Uh, so if I look at this and I see this is a lamp with a cord, if I want that version, I can promote it up to the latest and then uh, use that or edit that design. At the top are some common just data management tools, move, delete, copy. Uh, you also have access to those tools within the dashboard. And then I'll toggle over to an internet browser where I have loaded my A360 or Autodesk 360 dashboard. So the URL is myhub.autodesk360.com. And this gives me access to the data in my projects. Uh, so I, I cannot modify designs, but I have the same data management tools to move, copy, uh, add messages, and, and other items to the project. Uh, so those are some very common ways that you will use to manage your data within Fusion 360.